So for a while now, I've been wanting to do a series called Ranking the Oldies, where I rank old franchises like Ghostbusters and Indiana Jones and Karate Kid and yada yada yada, Jaws and a whole bunch of stuff. So this past week, I watched the trilogy Back to the Future, because it's leaving Netflix on July 31st, and I decided I have to watch it this week. So it's the first one on Monday, the second one on Wednesday, and the last one today, which is Friday. And now I'm ready to rank them. So I'm going to rank them. Just a quick note, uh, like I'm going to say in all my rankings, this is not Rotten Tomato scores. This is not what is going to make you guys happy. This is my own personal opinion on it. So if you have a problem with that, well, just don't. All right, so I'm going to get started. Coming in third place is going to be Back to the Future Part 2. And the first half, I actually thought it was better than the first one. This movie was pretty good. I really dig all the stuff with um, the future with Biff, the alternate present where Biff is killing people. I dug all that. And I dug the beginning in the future in 2015, even though I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't got hoverboards or automatically fitting clothes. Yeah, and I really dug all that, but once it got to the last act, it just didn't really work for me. It kind of went downhill fast. And the reason that was because I thought they should have shortened this movie by 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe made it an hour and a half because the ending seemed way too drawn out. And then it seemed like they're adding way too many things. Like, beginning you get the future. The middle you get the alternate present. The past, I mean, the third act you get the past again. And it's just way too much. And this movie, even though it had potential to be my favorite, it just didn't really stick the landing with me. Alright, going to be in second place is the one I watched today, Back to the Future Part 3. It, it was just decent. It wasn't great or anything. It had me... John and I just think it was a good ending to Back to the Future. I don't think they could have done any better. They didn't try to go all out, and that just makes me happy. I had a lot of fun with this movie, and I think the ending to this film, I think it does perfect. It's a perfect ending, ending to Back of the Future. And Back to the Future. Sorry. Um, great ending. And I just really dug all the things they did here. It's not perfect. It's not anything. It's kind of predictable. It really gets really silly during the end. But it's just all I needed for an ending to Back to the Future. And then, number one is easily going to be the first one. Because, I mean, my self-pointed nickname is the Unpopular Opinion Critic. You're going to hear that around my channel a lot. But anyways... No, most of the time, I don't like old franchises. Like, I didn't like the beginning, the original Star Wars. I didn't like... I Well, Jaws was okay. I didn't like Infinity War. I love The Last Jedi, and I know I'm probably going to get some hate comments, but uh, please don't hate. Um, By the way, make sure to comment your ranking of Back to the Future. But anyways, uh, so I was kind of nervous about watching this because I'm not that big of a fan. Of all these old movies. And I had a lot of fun with it. I think the first 30 minutes. Was the weakest part. Because it just. It kind of set up the characters. And as much as I enjoy a good setup, Really didn't work for me. Most of the characters were kind of annoying. But the moment Doc got shot. Was the moment I was. Leaped all into this film. Uh. I really enjoyed the things with going back to the past. I enjoyed the time-traveling film. I really enjoy how <laughs> I could just point out, that's his mother. That's his father. This is what they were talking about in the beginning. Oh, that's Biff. I really enjoyed pointing those things out in the movie. And this is what I did in this one. It really worked, and I just had a lot of fun with it. All right, so what's your ranking of Back to the Future down below? Make sure to like, subscribe, and your ranking and thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to join the nerd army peace